for the show. It's a good race show. No, it's a good race. Show. I don't know. There's a certain crowd that found your channel, though, and that's the thing. It's different for every channel. But I also think that it's not just the number of subscribers. I noticed as well. When I, when I affiliated myself with another channel uh, some moons ago and I started podcasting with them, I started getting a lot of unsavory types in my comment section as well. People that just were being out and out nasty and filthy and despicable for no reason whatsoever than me having an opinion. So I'm not saying it's because of somebody, a certain individual that Bear and I know and Lex knows. And I'm sure many of you know as well. I'm not saying it's that person's fault. I am saying if you lie in trash, you're going to wake up stank and dirty. In the crown side. That's what I'm saying. If you lie in filth, you will get dirty. And then what I'm saying. So let's get let's forget about the negative though. Because what uh, I want to talk about. Yeah, yeah. What I want to talk about. Um, before we finish up on the PlayStation 4 Neo and PlayStation 4 Slim uh, segment is the price. Now, there's the Wall Street Journal. They've been at it again. And I'll be honest with you, these guys have rarely been wrong. But the Wall Street Journal reporter Takashi Mochizuki took to Twitter to reveal that some analyst firm, very reputable, reputable analyst firm, um, had predicted PlayStation 4 Neo is going to cost around $399. PlayStation was slim, $299. Now, I presume, I assume they're speaking before taxes. That's not the price to the consumer. That's the price that's going to be sold into retail, and then you pay taxes on top of that once you are the end user picking it up. So, I, I agree with it, because my prediction, my prediction was, or is, that I believe that the PlayStation 4 Neo in North America is going to cost around $449.